start movie review. Zack Nimbus is a pretty regular, you know, young kid living in suburbia in what's quite clearly a video game world until he is recruited by the Resistance, a tough ninja and an equally tough, if somewhat less angry, space hero. They have to take out Count Vile, who has been plaguing the land. This is an independent film, but they do a pretty good job of hiding it. The acting is not great, but the characters are pretty fun. The best thing one could say about it is that it is the definitive parody video game movie. Almost every movie that is a parody of video games, video games sucks. Plain and simple. It's made by people who don't understand the medium and who really don't care, who just throw in some silly gags, and this is nothing like that. Everyone who worked on this loves video games, and it shows. There are so many gags, so many tiny little observations on the medium that it's just pure gold for anyone who really gets into the medium but, you know, can enjoy some fun being poked at it. There are many references to famous, you know, franchises, and the material goes back to definitely early 90s, some 80s even. The action is actually quite good. One thing that really helps is that everyone who participates in fight scenes, or nearly everyone, has martial arts experience. So it's good choreography and it tends to be well executed. The music is spot on and it's done by a guy who does do video game scores. And the plot actually does work pretty well. You generally get to care. It's not just parody. You do get to like these characters and kind of feel for them. And that really is quite impressive. It's well paced. It's not much more than 90 minutes. There are spots where the gags and jokes, at least the ones that work, are a little bit far between. But all in all, it's definitely worth checking out for any fan of video games and movies about video games, although not many of those are very good. The DVD comes with many cool little things. There are some shorts with Count Vile. There are featurette. There's a featurette. There are three commentary tracks. And just in general, if you like the humor of it, you'll like the humor of the DVD extras. One good thing to, you know, maybe help you figure out if you're going to like this movie is check out Ed Glazer's Press Start Adventures at thatguywiththeglasses.com. It's m much of the same humor. 